To configure SNMP version 3 on Palo Alto Fireball, you can refer this particular article. I'll share the link in the description. This is for the Pan OS 9.1 and above. But in my case, I'm working with 9.0.1. So some of the steps that you will see um, will be different from the article. And almost all these steps will remain the same. And this particular article I see is missing uh, some of the step required for the firewall to generate the SNMP data and send it to the uh, SNMP manager. Let's get started. So this is my Palo Alto firewall running uh, 901. So to configure SNMP, go to uh, server profile, click on SNMP trap, create the uh, server profile, name it as SNMP v3 select the version 3 click on add add the username in my case uh, okay this is the snmp uh, profile name so let me name it as snmp snmp manager is the uh, server which is running the snmp uh, software to collect the information and to receive the trap. In my case, uh, this is the machine, which is having an IP of 192.168.0.12. So I'm going to configure the same here. The user is going to be admin that we will create Engine ID, if you keep it as uh, blank, it is going to take the uh, serial number of the uh, firewall. And SNMP version three provides authentication as well as privacy. And you can choose uh, among them if you would like to go with authentication only or privacy only, or you would like to combine both of them. Let me try to enter the password. So in the version 901, I do not see the option of entering the privacy protocol and the authentication protocol. But in the version 910 and above, you can explicitly select the authentication protocol and privacy protocol. And I believe it is by default AES 128 bit and SHA 1 for the default settings for SNMP version 3 on 901. Let me try to save this configuration. Now we have the profile created. Next step is to go to the setup, click on setup under the device, click on operation. And on the right hand side, you will see SNMP setup, click on the SNMP setup. You will have to enter the physical location, contact. I already have them configured. Select the version, version three, click on add to add the view. This is the name of the view. You will have to enter the OID of the SNMP MIB. So the OID of the MIB on the Palo Alto Firewall is 1361. You can enter the same. And option you can select include and mask is going to be in hex format which is 0xf0. Let me try to enter the same. Now we have created the view. Now let's try to add the user that we created. 
admin will have to select the same view at what we have created. Authentication password is the same password that we configured in the last step. You can create multiple authentication uh, users. So now we have the user created, we have the view created. So for the version three, let's try to save this. And in the interface settings for the management, if you click on management, you will have to select SNMP here. This is the uh, management profile name, management interface settings. I have SNMP selected. And if you are using, or if you would like to use any other interface other than the management interface, what you can do is uh, you can go to uh, services, click on service route configuration, and you can select the SNMP here, and then change the uh, interface for the source address. So in my case, the firewall is going to use the management interface, but if you would like to change it, then you can select the specific interface from the service route configuration, which is inside services in the setup. So the next thing is, um, if you would like to run uh, the SNMP on the custom interface, then you will have to go to the network and uh, for example ethernet one slash two in the advanced setting make sure you select the management profile where you have snmp marked or checked so the management profile is mgmt So this is the profile that the interface ethernet one slash three is using. And here, if you can see, I have the SNMP selected, which is checked network services. So make sure you have this particular settings in place. If you're using a custom interface as the source IP for the SNMP traffic. Else um, you can check the setup interface make sure you have this particular snmp option selected in the management interface settings next is the uh, lock setting click on lock setting which is inside the device and you will have to create the profile inside the system i'm going to name it as test and i'm going to add the same profile which we have created in the first step snmp version 3 click ok same thing for the configuration, click and add the SNMP profile. In the same way, you can do it for the rest of the uh, hierarchy. For example, user ID, HIP match, or rest of the alarms. So once that is done, you can click commit and commit the changes. So now that the configuration is committed, we have all the configuration on the Palo Alto firewall for the SNMP version three. Let's move on to the SNMP manager. So this is the SNMP manager. And uh, if you check the settings, I have version three selected and I have 
selected auth private authentication and privacy both and i have selected the protocol as sha1 and privacy protocol as aes 128-bit and i believe this is the default settings on the palo alto firewall running 901 version so let me try to apply this and okay so now everything is okay on the washa capture well you can see the captures and um, you can see everything is encrypted on the firewall when it sends the snmp data so you can see here it is encrypted private key unknown is because of uh, no availability of the private key on the uh, wireshark so it is expected and you can see here username is admin data is encrypted so provides more security I'm able to do the SNMP walk on the Palo Alto firewall as well. And the same thing you can see it in the Wireshark capture. Now let's try to check if the SNMP manager is receiving the trap information from the Palo Alto firewall or not. So we have started the uh, trap. So now the SNMP manager is listening for the trap. Let's try to create some data or, or let's try to commit some changes on the Palo Alto firewall so that we can see, okay, we already have the trap here. You can see in the trap viewer. And if you can show the detail, you can see the details here for the trap that was sent from the Palo Alto firewall to the uh, SNMP manager. So that, that proves that everything is working fine as per the configuration. And uh, make sure you follow all these steps. Otherwise, uh, you will end up in a wrong configuration and you'll not see SNMP uh, logs on the SNMP manager. That's all in this video. See you in the next one. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.